there's a, one major way that uh, DocuSign can work for real estate agents, and that's about bringing the buyer and the seller together to negotiate the contract there and then on the spot. That's probably the most common use case that we're expecting. So rather than uh, the agent hopping in their car, driving across town, getting a counter signature, driving backwards and forwards, maybe spending one or two hours, instead they can get the buyer and the seller on the phone, uh, invite them to meet into a transaction room environment, uh, annotate the contract on the spot, and both parties can digitally sign it. So it's, it's much more efficient and effective, uh, and uh, they can uh, sign, get more business signed faster. So you could set up very complicated rules if you wanted to, or very simple rules where it simply sends to a, a user and then uh, routes back to you. But there are many, many examples right across the real estate industry where DocuSign can help. Our industry has around 680 forms, uh, so most of those can be automated with DocuSign. And it means that agents can get on with their day job and actually sell more properties, knowing that they can log into uh, the DocuSign interface or they'll get alerts on their, on their mobile phone telling them exactly where that contract is up to. Uh, so it is a, a highly secured environment, it's ISO 21001 uh, security standard. That's the big green tick from every major bank in the world. Uh, so given that uh, major banks uh, trust the platform, uh, real estate agents and mortgage brokers etc. Uh, certainly can too. Documents signed with, uh, with DocuSign are compliant with Australia's Electronic Transactions Act, so that's point number one. But point number two is we actually uh, employed external legal counsel to do research in every Australian state and territory to work out where DocuSign can be used across the real estate industry and where it probably should not. So it's legal everywhere, but in some cases some government departments may or may not accept it. Uh, so uh, we've, we've uh, created a, a series of white papers for every Australian state and territory. Uh, they're now available on our website for download. Uh, so if you're, there are any questions about uh, what's legal and what's not, or where it's best to use DocuSign and where not, I'd certainly recommend you uh, download those white papers. We have a number of agents logging in and out of our platforms on a day-by-day -day basis. Actually, it's about 45,000 logins a day from real estate agents. So when agents are in our platform and generating a CMA document, or Comparative Market Analysis, we're going to automatically create a transaction room environment for every CMA that's created. And then the first document that's going to be populated into the, into the transaction room will be that CMA. So from there, they'll add their authority to list forms, uh, their contracts of sale, uh, and, and other forms that it will grow over time, but it will actually originate from uh, the CMA process. So just using our, our standard platform day to day, we'll actually uh, we'll use that uh, as a process to create uh, the DocuSign interface on behalf of the client. DocuSign have fantastic mobile apps, they really, really do. So their, their iPad app and uh, iPhone app keep you updated every single time a document is opened or, or uh, uh, signed by one party. So the, the apps are an absolutely brilliant uh, way to use DocuSign on a day-by-day -day basis. In fact, I suspect most agents will use the mobile apps and not the uh, core website interface. So if you're the principal of a real estate office, you can log into transaction rooms at any time and see every single contract that your employees have in the market at the moment. And from that you can derive your commission uh, payments automatically and know that day by day the performance of your sales reps. It has an open API platform, so uh, real estate CRMs around Australia are more than welcome to integrate with DocuSign. And to that point, there's been over 36,000 API integrations in the US already. It's a very uh, solid and robust platform, so uh, I don't expect we'd have any issues here in the Australian market. Uh, the price point that we've negotiated in the Australian market is very competitive. Uh, so it starts at $20, $20 per user per month uh, for an API data subscribing uh, user. Uh, for that you get unlimited signing, unlimited documents and unlimited transaction rooms. So it's an all you can eat product uh, for the $20 per month.